Alright guys, the AR-10 build is done. I'm sorry it took so long. Uh, it's actually been done for about two weeks, but I'll, I got time to post a video now. Uh, let's go through it real quick. In the bottom, on the description, I'm going to put every single part that I've used on this rifle down in the description. I'm not going to be able to name everything right off, the, right off the top of my head, but I'll go through it as much as I can. But down in the description, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the full details on this rifle. I'm loving it. The goal was to keep this rifle lightweight. That didn't happen because on Instagram, I gave my viewers to pick which scope they like to see on the AR-10. The PST Gen 1, 1 to 4 with the TMCQ reticle or the Vortex Razor with the VMR2. Guess what they picked? The Razor, of course. The clarity is great on this thing. But I do like the, TMC, uh, the TMCQ reticle off of the PST Gen 1. And it's a lighter scope. So we tacked on some weight with the Razor, but it's all good. Let's go through the rifle. So this is an Aero Precision M5E1, uh, 15 inch rail, FDE. We got the Strike Industries buffer tube, castle nut. We have the Magpul ACS stock. <laughs> Keep wanting to say MCS, but it's the ACS stock. Uh, ADM mount for the Razor uh, and the inside guys. Oh man, this is JP's VMOS bolt carry group, okay? We also have JP's uh, silent buffer in here. I don't want to take it out because I got this rifle ready to go. Uh, but we have the uh, silent buffer uh, tube in here as well. That is the best way to run this bolt carrier group. I've also got the JP adjustable uh, gas block, but I took that out. I took it out because this VMOS is supposed to run really good without an adjustable gas block. All the three ways that I've built, I've never had issues with having to put an adjustable gas block on there, but I also haven't run those guns suppressed. I've run this gun suppressed with the adjustable gas block and there was some tuning needed. Uh, but right now I have a fixed BCM uh, 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 gas block on here right now because I want to experiment with this VMOS. I want to see if it will run with this fixed gas block and also will it run with the suppressor and the fixed gas block. If not, we're gonna to have to go back to the JP, but I wanna see if that's true. This bolt carrier group is amazing. It's costly, but it's amazing. It feels really good, it's smooth, it operates extremely well, and it's built well. It, it's really cool to see it. You, if you guys get a chance, please look at it. I don't wanna take it out right now. Uh, we got the Magpul grip here. We have Ambi Safety. We have CMC's two and a half pound trigger, single stage. We got a uh, Magpul PMAG 20 rounder here, and we have Ballistics Advantage barrel this is a 16 inch ballistics advantage barrel this is their government contour so it's not a heavy barrel but it's not a pencil barrel it shoots really good I'm, I, I reached out to 800 yards the first day I shot this thing I, I actually slapped still at 800 yards with it and I'm shooting 500 yards consistently I'm not going to be able to do that today because I'm losing light but I will run the gun to show you guys how reliable it is at the end here we have the gamma vg6 muzzle brake I love these brakes don't ask me why but I, I just like the brakes. I have it on another 6.5 Creedmoor that I built. Uh, we got the Magpul MS, MS4 sling here, or MS1, I'm sorry, uh, two-point sling. Um, and we got the QD mounts here for the uh, sling. Also, I got a Raptor uh, charging handle, Ambi charging handle. So, uh, man, I'm super stoked about this build, guys. It's got the throw lever on here. That's really all that's been done. I think the heart of your rifle is always going to be the barrel and your bolt carry group. You put the money there and the thing will run. You will, you will absolutely love the way this rifle performs. I'm going to get my ear pro on and I'll show you guys how this rifle runs. All right, guys, the sling. This is something that a lot of people I ask all the time. How come I don't run a one point sling? This right here is the reason why. Uh, you see the rifle is just pointed off to the side. It's not pointed towards my beat. It's always in a safe direction and it's solid on me. I'm walking around stalking these pigs. I'm scanning with binos or my nods. I don't have to worry about my rifle swinging around. And it's steady, it's, it's locked on my chest, it's locked on my body. Whenever it's time for me to shoot, I will grab the point where I can slide it back. I don't know what this little thing is, a little tensioner or whatever. And I will pull it back to where it makes contact with my side. And I got enough leverage there now to hold the rifle. So I'll use the sling as leverage with my, with my hand stop here on the rail and I would use the sling as leverage. This is whenever I'm not running the tripod. Whenever I'm not running the tripod, this is exactly how I run my rifle using that sling. And with my hand off of the grip, the rifle's still steady on my shoulder. I absolutely love these slings. So I just wanted to bring that up. A lot of people are always asking about the slings, but uh, Magpul all the way. That's the way I like to run them. Magpul MS1.
If you guys like what you see, please hit the like button, get those subs going, get the notifications going. And again, I'll do everything I can to keep the content rolling. Thanks, guys.